It's been a while since I've checked in with you guys. How are you? Obviously, we, you know, we're doing our podcast in the studio, but I do miss the more informal uh, briefings that we have here in the 7M studios at home. You no doubt saw how um, Colorado <laughs> has, has decided uh, that it's like four unelected, left-wing, kind of banana wacky judges decided they will alter the fate of the United States. This is the characteristic of the lawless left. They are so desperate to stop Trump that there's like 20 states now ready to, we're going to take them off the ballot. Yeah, that's right. We're just not going to, we're not going to give you the choice. You don't have a choice. Threat to democracy. Well, you know, the big threat to democracy is when you don't give Americans a choice. The left talks about uh, Trump like he's the new Caesar. There's an article written by a total like, Brookings Institute whack job who's uh, advocating like almost for assassination. These, these people are so unhinged. One wonders what they're afraid of. They are the totalitarians. They're the ones that'll lock you up. Look at them trying to put Trump in jail for 700 years. That is, it evidently isn't working. So it reminds me of Samson. You know, if Samson, the Philistines were upon you. And, uh, and you know, every time, you know, they, they jumped on him with, you know, one indictment, two indictments, three indictments, four indictments, tie him up, then he goes, boom, he kind of breaks out. Ah, you got four judges, and they go tie him up, and they're gonna keep him from running, then boom, he's gonna break out of that. They're not gonna succeed. It's not up to unelected judges in rebel states to determine uh, who gets to be on a ballot. Even the Insurrection Act that they're quoting, which has, by the way, hasn't been taken to court, has been proven. Even Jack Smith, salivating as he is to try to do something to Trump, opted not to go with the insurrection charge because it's hard to, when you got footage of Trump saying, I want you to go peacefully and patriotically and, you know, and let your voices be heard. Or when you have the record of Trump saying, we need to get like 10 or 20,000 uh, National Guard there, I'm concerned. Or Christopher Wray covering up for 200 undercover agents that were there. What were they doing? One wonders, but we'll find out. See, the whole thing is stinky. But Colorado is the most left-wing whack state in the United States. That's why I focus on Colorado. It's not a swing state, except that I believe it's the key to the United States because it once was, you know, at one point it was like focus on the family was there, so strong with Dobson. one point, Ted Hager with the prayer tower or whatever was there. And man, that state, they literally had like three or four multimillionaires got together, grabbed lawfare teams, fake, uh, you know, they got activists, they geo, they geo micro-targeted communities with specific uh, initiatives, went door to door, they flipped the state from red to crazy. And of course they said, hey, you want to smoke pot? We'll get a ballot initiative. They're big on ballot initiatives. And uh, so the state has gone so far to the left, they are worse than California, and they're always competing with California to how far they can outdo California. So you just gotta know what was once the reddest state became one of the weirdest states. But I do believe that there's a pent up frustration with a, you know, with a, a movement there in, in Colorado. And a lot of the people there are so beat up. They're, the party needs to come together, the conservatives need to come together, and Lord knows the churches need to come together, but it ain't gonna be easy. You know why? There's a lot of suppression, just like me. I only have 245 people now. There was a day in my life when I would have, oh, a thousand people in a call like this, a thousand, uh, but no, no. Some, somebody in pajamas has decided that I'm not to be heard over there on this particular platform. So we just suffer the indignity and uh, do what we got to do. Uh, but what I want to tell you is it will not stand. The Colorado verdict on keeping Trump, you know, from being able to run. Uh, you know, what the, what the Republicans are saying is, I appreciate this. Dave Williams uh, is the leader of the Republican Party. Great guy in, in Colorado. Here's what he says. He says, I think is what I'm hearing. He's saying, hey, you know, you guys, you guys are gonna do that? How about we just don't have any, anyone on the ballot? How's that, Colorado? You wanna be that screwy? Well, just don't, won't have any Republicans on the ballot. Is that what you want? You wanna be the only state that uh, queers the election? 
completely? Well, it's not going to stand. The Supreme Court has got to man up. Let's just pray that Chuck Schumer's threat, like the left, you know, the deranged left, oh, uh, you know, you're going to reap the whirlwind if you don't listen to us. And so, you know, that threat on reaping the whirlwind, and you know, the protesters going out to their house, you had the one nut job in California Democrat who went to Kavanaugh's house with duct tape and was going to kill him and his, his family. They got apprehended um, by a pang of conscience. I think it was his sister that outed him. Folks, uh, we gotta we gotta realize the left is deranged. By the way, they got a movie coming out. I'm in the trailer, evidently, as a dangerous Christian nationalist. Of course, you know, us shofar blowing pro life praying Christians are a great threat, I'm sure. But um, just want to let you know, the thing will not work. They will not be able to stop Trump and keep him off the ballot. I think the Supreme Court is gonna uh, is gonna have to say. Uh, you can't uh, keep someone off a ballot off the Insurrection Act when there's no official Insurrection Act charges that have been brought against Trump. He's tried in the court of public opinion with, you know, maybe MSNBC and in the New York Times, but not actually in a court anywhere. It doesn't count, oh, judges, with your advanced Ivy League degrees. So um, it'll, be, it'll be interesting how this goes, but I just want you to know, they ain't going to stop him that way. Keep praying for his divine protection. That's what we got to pray for. And would you like and subscribe and share this with other people just so that I could do a little market research and see how suppressed I really am on these platforms? Oh, what can I say? And also go to lancewallet.com forward slash podcast and you can get my uninhibited rants, uh, which are not edited um, to for any platform other than just for the truth being told. God bless you. We're going to have a great Christmas. It's going to be a great year. God says there's more in 24 because he's going to give us an open door and there are many adversaries. The adversaries aren't going to stop the open door. I just got done writing a letter to you. I'll get it to you. Just uh, I'll post it to you somewhere in the next uh, week or two for lancewalnut.com. I'll, I'll give it a, make it public. God bless you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.